All right, so we have a full D16 Y8 with our Z6 Savage cam and D-Series cam gear, and I'm going to degree it in off the intake. We've already locked the intake rockers in VTEC, so we're on the VTEC low. Um, lash is set to zero. TDC has been set. And so we're going to go ahead and start at zero, roll the motor, check our opening and closing numbers, and see if we need to make any adjustments. And again, this is a Y8 instead of a Z6 to... Uh, we have the same thing over here, and we already agreed that one in. Um, so, yeah, let's get started. We're going to roll this, and we're going to look at the dial up here. We're going to look for it to open at 0 .050 is our, and get our opening number on the crank. So, all right, we just open there, and we'll stop right there. And on the crank, it looks like we're uh, at 9 to 10 degrees before TDC. So cam card shows for 10 and a half uh, degrees at opening. Uh, so we'll roll this and check the closing number, and then we'll come back. Roll that all the way. 435 on the lift. Drop down. We're going to stop at the same 0 0.050 before it closes. And we have dead centers. We got 10, 20, 30, 40, about 49. So now we're going to come back. We're really close, but we're going to make one little adjustment. I think what we're going to do here is advance the cam uh, one degree. So you can see we're at zero. And break this. In. Break this loose here. Okay, stick our adjuster key in. And we're going to roll that zero. And we're going to go to one degree advance. So we move the cam, we advance the cam, we move the time belt backwards, what we did there. So the cam is now advanced one. Okay, lock that in. And just do two. It's easy. We need to make more adjustments. So we're back to all zero. And I'm gonna see what our opening number is now. We're opening. All right, we're right there at 0 0.050 and it looks like we're, call that a 11. Tension on it there. So look up here. And so we're paying attention to these numbers on the VTEC lobe right here. Opening at 10.5 before top dead center. And we're at 11 for top dead center. And the gear is plus one degree. So 11 before top dead center. So now we're going to roll it. Moving out. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 435. So that's right here, our 430 lift. I'm getting 435 on the valve tip. And this is that zero lash again. So next one is one, three, two, one. And stop right there at the closing. And we are at. 10, 20, 30, 40, 46. So we nailed the clothing number, but uh, so 46 before or after. So now we'll take those two numbers together. Generally, I can't ever get the opening and closing numbers to match exactly, but here we go. 11 plus 46 plus another 180 that gives us 237 which the durations with listing at 241 we're within a couple it's not that big a deal we'll divide that by two and then we're going to subtract the smaller number which is 11 107.5 so we actually probably need to go the other way That's crazy. And go 
I'm gonna go in the middle. I'm gonna go to. We're gonna do basically a half a degree. I feel like it's right there. That's like ten and a half on the dot. Ten point five. Four thirty five. Forty nine. Forty and a half, forty nine. Forty nine plus ten five plus one eighty two thirty nine five thirty nine five duration two minus ten point five one nine two five yeah so we're way we're closer there I mean honestly from adjusting this a bunch generally if you're gonna be on a full motor that's only got like two three thou decked off the block and the head with our head gasket which is I believe 40 um, that'll get you back to stock and so the center line is almost perfect so in a full y8 i would say you know if you use the z6 cam and gear you're probably gonna be safe with one you know or well, you will be safe but one degree around um, one degree advanced or retarded or zero but just make sure you're using a Z6 gear to match the Z6 cam. You don't put a Y8 gear on the Z6 cam shaft because that will shift the timing off, the cam timing off. Um, and if your block's been decked a bunch or the head's been milled a ton, then you're definitely going to need to use the gear to adjust your cam timing. But that's just a simple way to do it. Um, pretty easy on a single cam. And yeah.